when I was a young man, I had a tennis partner, an attractive girl of about 23 or 4, I suppose she was. And one day she told me, John, my front teeth feel a bit loose. Well, I said, OK, come along down to my practice and I'll have a look at it. When I got there, I took an X-ray and lo and behold, the roots of her teeth shortened to about 7 millimetres each of her incisors and she lost the teeth before she was 30. Now, this was an attractive young girl. They were her front teeth. And this is damage which every orthodontist accepts that they do, accepts that occasionally it is severe. But when I asked them, they said, well, John, it's the only way we can straighten the teeth. And so that gives them an excuse. I believe that the forces used in orthodontics should be very, very mild. Um, I've been interested in orthodontic research on this. Do you know that there is very little research on what the correct force to move teeth is? Almost none. Um, and there are quite a few which suggest that if you want to move teeth, you should use oh, 40 or 50 grams per tooth of force. Um, well, in my experience, that causes a lot of damage. And many orthodontists will use over 100 grams per tooth. Now, that has the effect of squashing the periodontal membrane. And of course, that supplies blood to or oxygen to the around the tooth and also the alveolus on the outside. Now, if you apply heavy forces, you occlude the oxygen and the cells die. Um, they, the orthodontists know this because they can see the damage that they do to the periodontal membrane. They all know they damage it. They all know that um, damage to the roots of the teeth during fixed appliance treatment is routine. It's not occasional. It happens in almost every patient, in almost every other tooth. It is frequently quite serious. When I was a young man, I used to play a lot of tennis, and I had a tennis partner, an attractive girl of about 23 or 4, I suppose she was. And one day she told me, John, my front teeth feel a bit loose. Well, I said, OK, come along down to my practice and I'll have a look at it. Uh, practice, incidentally, is an office to most um, Americans. But uh, <laughs> when I got there, I took an X-ray, and lo and behold, the roots of her teeth shortened to about seven millimetres each of her incisors, and she lost the teeth before she was 30. Now, this was an attractive young girl. They were her front teeth. And this is damage which every orthodontist accepts that they do, accepts that occasionally it is severe. But when I asked them, they said, well, John, it's the only way we can straighten the teeth. And so that gives them an excuse. Mm -hmm. And so uh, what are you suggesting, doctor, that there's a better way of moving teeth uh, with, with slower, more gentle forces? Well, I mean, when I first came up with the tropic fenis, which I'm sure you know, most people call it mewing, basically saying that the alignment of the teeth is controlled by the tongue, the lips, the cheeks, and the opposing teeth. And that determines where the teeth are. And that the forces involved there are one or two grams per tooth. That is the natural force which should move teeth. So I have always been against heavy forces, but my colleagues just do not want to listen to me. They say me that's how it should be done, and they're not going to change. Which colleagues are you referring to? Are you referring to other doctors who are doing expansion, or are you referring to the run-of-the-mill corner orthodontist who's just doing extractions or retraction? 
I'm referring to everybody who uses fixed appliances, whatever their objective. Mostly, they don't think they're pulling back, but the moment you fit a fixed appliance, my research shows quite clearly that the front of the face will go up back one or two millimetres. But the problem is, fixed appliances always apply heavy forces. It's difficult to fit from without. When I trained, I, initially I used a vulcanite plate to push the individual teeth around with finger springs, if you know what those are. Mm. Anyway, um, then I was in at the advent of fixed appliances, and we used to bend quite a heavy wire, what, what they call an O22 wire, um, into the shape we wanted the arch to be. We then put brackets on all the tooth. We put a wire on and twist it up to pull the tooth out so that it contacted this curve of this wire. And that caused a lot of pain. And pain, as you know, means damage. Discomfort actually means damage. And I try never, ever to cause any discomfort with an appliance. You can tell your listeners that if ever they feel pain or even discomfort, their teeth are being damaged. And mm -hmm. that's obvious sense. That's what we have a sense of pain for. And as I say, I use forces of one or two grams, which is so light you can hardly feel the weight on your hand. That is the natural force that moves teeth. And I can't understand why any intelligent person doesn't understand it. 